Welcome to No Man's Sky The Basics, a new series of videos designed for brand new players. In these videos I'm going to be getting you up to speed with what tools you have available at your disposal in game and how to take full advantage of them all. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at Starships. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted Starships are your main mode of transport through the game. There is a wide selection to choose from and with the need to defend yourself from sentinel ships and pirates, it never hurts to find one that suits your playstyle. Similar to your exosuit, you will notice you have technology and cargo. Your cargo is used for storage and your technology slots can be upgraded with various different technologies and upgrade modules. On the right hand side you will see your damage potential, shield strength, hyperdrive range and maneuverability. These can all be increased by adding technology modules. There are currently seven types of starships. Fighter, the Hauler, the Explorer, the Exotics, Solars, Living Ships and this thing which is called a shuttle. Among these ship types, there are four graded letters, C, B, A, and S. C-class ships have the fewest inventory spaces, and if there is a class bonus, it's gonna be no more than 20%. B-class ships can have a 20% or more class bonus. A-class ships will give you a 35% or more class bonus. S-Class ships have a 50% or more class bonus, however S-Class ships do not necessarily have the maximum amount of inventory slots. Let's have a closer look at those seven types of ships. Okay, let's just get this one out of the way first. The skip, I mean shuttle. Ships of this type have balanced stats with no significant class bonus compared to the other types. These ships look realistically like a skip. They're horrendous. I shouldn't even show you. It's vile. Anyway, shuttles do not have a large inventory, but they're great starter apparently, due to their cheap cost and increased low tier inventory space. The fighters. Ships of this type feature a damage potential class bonus. These ships are what you would call the flagships of No Man's Sky. They're also the primary starship choice of pirates across the galaxy. Explorers. Ships of this type get a hyperdrive range class bonus. These ships can look a little bit like an insect with their weird abstract shapes connected together with thin slender pieces. Haulers. Ships of this type feature a shield absorb class bonus and they also boast the highest possible inventory spaces. These ships are the largest out of all of the starships on offer. Exotics. The exotic is a special type of ship. Ships of this type stand out for their unusual features, high class bonuses and high prices for a small ship. Exotics will always be an S class. Solar ships. 
solar ships have extendable solar sails and are more often than not found in outlaw systems. At S-Class they offer a damage bonus similar to the exotics but their shield and hyperdrive bonuses are a lot lower. Solar ships equipped with a Vespa sail which is a unique piece of tech increases the pulse drive performance and slowly recharges launch thrusters. Solar ships have the best pulse speed and performance of any other class due to that technology. Full disclosure, I do not yet have a living ship on the Nintendo Switch, so you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit here. Living ships. Living ships feature a large amount of tech slots with the emphasis being damage and hyperdrive range. Living ships can be obtained through purchasing a void egg and following the quest line or by buying it like any other ship. These ships will differ in upgrades as you cannot install any technological upgrades, rather they are obtained by space encounters and the ship's inventory can be expanded with spawning sacks which you find on both living frigate expeditions and also found in cargo on derelict freighters. A great success! So you've had enough of flying around in the Radiant Pillar and are looking at buying something new. Ships can be purchased from the trading posts, colossal archives, space stations, outposts or freighter hangars. The starship price depends on the type and class. You can buy the new ship outright or trade in your current ship for a discount on the new one. Occasionally on your travels you may come across a crashed ship that you can claim for free. These ships will be damaged and need to be repaired, but a free starship is a great deal, right? Well... These crash ships can be more trouble than they're worth. After repairing all the damaged base tech and using valuable resources to open up the cargo slots again, you could spend more than the ship would cost at an outpost or a space station. The only time I personally recommend grabbing one of these crash ships is if you intend to scrap it for some easy units. However, if you're desperate for a 40 plus slot hauler and one just happens to be crashed, then it might make more sense to grab it and repair it as and when you can, than rather than wait ages for one to show up at a space station. Upgrading a Starship's class will increase the maximum number of slots it can have. That means a player can upgrade a ship's class in order to apply more storage augmentation units after that ship is maxed out. If you bite off more than you can chew whilst in space and your starship is destroyed, don't panic. You will spawn in the nearest space station in your ship. You will lose all the resources stored in your ship's hold unless you can follow the grave icon. Once there, you'll be able to collect your resources. It is possible, however, that pirates can loot your grave before you get there and then all of those resources will be lost. If your starship is destroyed in space whilst in survival mode, things are a little bit different. You will lose your ship inventory permanently and wake up a good distance away from your crashed ship on the surface of the nearest planet. Starship destruction in permadeath mode results in the game ending and your save file being permanently deleted. When I feel like this, I'm immortal When I 